Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to work on that go-kart. Um, I'm not going to bore you with this showing you every single detail, so you're going to see kind of a fast-forward version of it. Uh, hopefully if you have to do that job, you can watch it and get an understanding of what you need to do. Um, so that was fun. And we're also going to work probably on a muck truck. It needs a tune-up and adjusted and all that kind of fun stuff. And we need to put inner tubes into the one of the tires that's in between the two main tires. So we'll show how to change a, a tire or pull it off and put a tube in there and put it back on. So, all right, should be a good one. Hope you enjoy. that go-kart is back together and you can see right there right there it's split that was the bad piece so yeah go-kart is outside uh, ready to be picked up maybe some shenanigans going on with this I gotta adjust the carburetor it's you see it's leaking gas everywhere I flow it's not right but here's the muck truck and this is the tire I was talking about that needs a tube. It's flat. So let's uh, pull that off and put some tubes in there. And these wheels are spaced with washers. So I like to take pictures of them. That way I remember how it went back together. You probably hear that dog barking in the background. That's my neighbor's dog. It never stops barking. Sorry. It gets really annoying, actually. Alright, tires out. Alright, I was going to show you how to use the tire remover but this tire has this spacer in here mm -hmm. and it won't go over that and if it will not go over that there's no way we're gonna get this tire off and on so what I'm gonna do is just put some uh, vulcanizing cement on the bead on both sides clean up the bead first put air in it and we're just not going to do tubes there's Otherwise, I'm just going to break all this and it's going to cost too much to get a new one. So let's just do that. All 
All right, hopefully that will work. Got the cement both sides. We'll actually let that sit for a bit and dry up before we install it back onto the muck truck. All right, second tire. This is the piece I was trying to get out <laughs> on the other one. I got it out on this tire so we can actually show you how we put an inner tube in there. So let's do that. I gotta remember now. You gotta break the bead. Put this deal in there. These tires on there super tight. Man, it doesn't wanna come off. Let's give it a little juice something to lube it up a little Let's just keep tightening this thing down. Gosh. It's going to be fun getting it back on. So if you don't have that this tool, that's virtually impossible. <laughs> All right, next you gotta remove the valve stem. Just pair of pliers and yank on it. tube in or put the tube in in general I think I got it on enough that it's not going to come back off and then you can use a screwdriver to finish getting it over the lip. There's no easy way of doing this. Maybe if I had like a real tire machine these particular tires are, they're, I've done other snowblower tires, and this isn't from a snowblower, but I've done it with this screwdrivers. These things, man, they are on there tight.
Y'all done? Yeah. Now then. There you go. Put these inserts back in. Let's go install them. All right, that muck truck is done. So that's gonna be a wrap on uh, this one. I hope you guys maybe learned something, especially about changing tires. And that little tool from Harbor Freight will make your life a lot easier. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe. If you have any questions about what I did, just leave it down in the comments below. And we'll see you in the next one.